Hey everybody, so in this video I want to talk about how to harmonize a melodic minor scale in triads, seventh chords, and arpeggios. So how do we play a melodic minor scale? Uh, when somebody showed this to me, they explained it as it's like a major scale, but you lower the third. And I found that to be an easy way to think about it. But let's just look at the pitches first. So uh, we start with, I'm going to do this in C. So we got C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, I'll do the same with the function. So we got one, two, flat three. string, uh, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B, C. I'm going to walk down with the function. So we got one, seven, six, five, four, flat three, two, one. Okay, so we're going to start with triads. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stay totally inside the scale. Start on the first note. I'm going to put the first note, the third note, and the fifth note together. That gives me C minor. Then I'm going to do the second note, the fourth note, and the sixth note together. It gives me D minor. Then the third note, the fifth note, and the seventh note, E flat augmented, so on and so forth on every degree of the scale. And that'll, that'll kind of get us these chords. So uh, we'll start with the one chord is C minor. Two chord is D minor. Three chord or flat three is going to be E flat augmented. It's one three sharp five. Four chord is major, F major. Five chord is G major. Six chord is A diminished. It's one flat three flat five. Seven chord is B diminished. And then we're back to C. Let's work so you got C minor, B diminished, A diminished, G, F, E flat augmented, D minor, C minor. Also note that the uh, four chord and five chord are the same quality, and the six chord and the seven chord are the same quality. That will help us with the sevens. Uh, so let's do the same thing, but with a different voicing, okay? Still going to be a triad, but I'm going to have the fifth, the third, and the root right there, okay? So... Uh, still the same same harmonization with the triads. So we got C minor, D minor, E flat augmented, F major, G major, A diminished, B diminished, C minor. Back down. Okay. So now let's uh, let's take a look at the seventh chord. So instead of going one, three, five off each degree of the scale, I'm going to go one, three, five, seven. So I'm going to do it with four notes instead of three. And that's going to get us these chords. First one is C minor major seven. This is like one flat three, five, seven. Next chord is D minor seven. It's a two chord. It's one flat three, five, flat seven. Uh, flat three chord is going to be E flat major seven augmented. Five, seven. Then a four chord is going to be F7. It's one, three, five, flat seven. Same thing for the five. We got G7. Then the six chord is A half diminished. It's one flat three, flat five, flat seven. And the same thing for the seven chord, which will be B half diminished. So we had F7, G7, A half diminished, B half diminished. And then back to C minor major seven. Okay, let's work our way back down. C minor major 7, B half diminished, A half diminished, G7, F7, E flat major 7 augmented, uh, D minor 7, D minor major 7. Let's do the same thing with the different voicing. So here we've got, uh, we're going to have the 5, the 3, the 7, and the 1. Okay, so this is going to be C minor major 7. And I'm going to walk it up the scale. C minor major 7, D minor 7, E flat major 7 augmented, F7, G7, A half diminished, B half diminished, C minor major 7. So 
but now arpeggios. We'll start with uh, just the triads. So one chord with C minor. Okay. Two chord was D minor. Three chord was E flat uh, augmented. I did in the last video uh, what I tend to like to do when I'm when I'm trying to get a hold of some of this stuff in a new scale is uh, I'll run up one shape and then down the next shape so uh, I could run up C minor major 7 like that and then I would shift into the highest note of D minor 7 and then run down that pattern then up E flat major 7 augmented and then down F7 and then up G7 support this kind of thing, please visit my website, carterarrington.com, where I've got a True Fire course for sale. You can book lessons, check out music, and depending on whatever platform you're watching this on, like, subscribe, share, etc. Cheers. See you next time.